Hello everyone, welcome to the first lesson of El Metodo. Jessica and I wish you all the best for success on your journey into this splendid language. Very briefly, here's how the course works. We'll introduce a new word and you'll repeat it aloud. You'll be prompted to do so by the double speech bubbles. Now we ask you to formulate your own phrases prompted by the ESP bubble. ESP for Espanol, Spanish. Think and then speak your Spanish phrase out loud, hitting pause if need be. Now I'll give the same phrase which hopefully will be the same as yours. There's another space for you to repeat after me. And finally, I'll give the phrase again. Please repeat after me, imitating my Spanish pronunciation, and also try to say the phrase as fast as I do. Best of luck! A good place to start is the greeting, hello, which in Spanish is, hola. Please repeat that, hola. Hola. You can hear that the initial H is silent, hola. The next word is I, yo. Yo. The Y is pronounced similarly to English, but with just a hint of J, yo. Yo. Now to say I am, it's yo soy. Yo soy. However, it's more common to hear soy alone, since in Spanish the pronouns I, you, he, she, we and they are not usually spoken. The verb forms alone identify the person. So, I am, yo soy, or more commonly, soy. Soy. So, how would you say in Spanish, hello, I'm Peter? Hola, soy Peter. Or giving my name Spanish pronunciation. Hola, soy Peter. So now I'd like you to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm filling in with your own name. Hola, soy... Hola, soy... Let's have a quick look at the Spanish vowels. As in English, there are five, but luckily for the learner of Spanish, each vowel only has one possible sound. Unlike English, where each vowel can be pronounced in various different ways, amounting to some 20 or so possible vowel sounds, it's far more straightforward in Spanish, with only five vowel sounds. Can you repeat after me? A, E, I, O, U. Be sure to pronounce only pure vowels, just as you hear them, avoiding any diphthongs, that's to say sounds like A instead of E and O instead of O. A, E, I, O, U. It may help to think of the A as the A in the sound of laughter. Ha 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 ha. I hesitate to give an actual English word as pronunciation varies with the different English accents. A. Ah. The E is the same E as in the English egg, nice and short, E. The E is the short E of eat, E. The next one is O as in the British English pronunciation of hot. Or perhaps again the sound of laughter, this time that of Santa Claus, Father Christmas, ho 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 ho, o. The U is the short U of flute, or perhaps the sound a monkey makes, U U U U U U. So that's it. There's not a single example in the entire Spanish language of a vowel having two different sounds. If you pause and practice these five vowels, you're done. To say a, uh, as in a dog, a car, we say un. Un. A coffee is un café. Un café. 
and we emphasize the E vowel on account of the accent, which indicates the stress, the strong syllable, un café, and not café, un café. Please is por favor. Por favor. Each of the final R's is lightly flipped with the very tip of the tongue, just behind and above the front teeth. The very same tongue placement as an English D, 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 but with the lightest and briefest of touches to produce the flipped R, R. Por favor. Speakers of American English may like to think of the Spanish flipped R as the T sound in water or butter. Por favor. Por favor. So how would you say a coffee, please? Un café, por favor. Un café, por favor. In Spanish, all objects, things, or concepts, what we call nouns, are considered to be either masculine or feminine. Café is masculine, so we use un, un café. But a Coca-Cola, for no particular reason, happens to be feminine, so we say una Coca-Cola. Una Coca-Cola. Really try to get those pure vowels as you practiced before. Una Coca-Cola. Una Coca-Cola. So then, how would you say hello, a Coca-Cola, please? Hola, una Coca-Cola, por favor. Hola, una Coca-Cola, por favor. And how about hello, a coffee, please? Hola, un café, por favor. Hola, un café, por favor. The word for and is e, just like the Spanish e vowel we practiced before. E. E. So now you can say a coffee and a Coca-Cola. Un café y una Coca-Cola. Un café y una Coca-Cola. And now say hello, a coffee and a Coca-Cola, please. Hola, un café y una Coca-Cola, por favor. Hola, un café y una Coca-Cola, por favor. The word for two, the number two, is dos. The Spanish D is actually softer than in English, and it's produced with the tongue flat against the gum ridge, against the top of the mouth, not the tip of the tongue as in English. Not do, 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 but a light do, do, with the tongue flat at the top of the mouth. Dos. Repeat, please. Dos. Dos. So now could you say two Coca-Colas? Dos Coca-Colas. Dos Coca-Colas. As you see, just as in English, an S is added to plural nouns. 
but please take care to always pronounce the plural Spanish S as S and not Z with the voice. As we do in English after vowels, we say Coca-Colas, Coca-Colas and coffees. In Spanish, it's Coca-Colas, cafés. So how would you say two coffees? Dos cafés. Dos cafés. Two coffees and a Coca-Cola. Dos cafés y una Coca-Cola. Dos cafés y una Coca-Cola. A coffee and two Coca-Colas, please. Un café y dos Coca-Colas, por favor. Un café y dos Coca-Colas, por favor. This is probably one of the very first things we need to do in Spanish, to order things such as drinks. And we can also do so by saying, I want such and such. This could sound rather blunt in English to say, I want something. We'd usually say, can I have or I'd like, but it works just fine in Spanish. So the way to say, I want is, yo quiero. Usually simply, quiero. Quiero. So to order a coffee, we can say, quiero un café, por favor. Quiero un café, por favor. Okay, how would you say, I want a Coca-Cola, please? Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. And how about, hello, I want, can I have, two Coca-Colas and a coffee, please? Hola, quiero dos Coca-Colas y un café, por favor. Hola. Quiero dos Coca-Colas y un café, por favor. So now, to really make these phrases stick, let's practice them rhythmically. Just join in with us when you get the hang of it, and then go back repeating the chant as often as you can to really make it sink in. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Un café, un café y una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero dos Coca-Colas, por favor. Quiero dos Coca-Colas, por favor. Un café, un café y dos Coca-Colas, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Dos cafés, dos cafés y una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Un café, un café y una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero dos Coca-Colas, por favor. Quiero dos Coca-Colas, por favor. Un café, un café y dos Coca-Colas, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Quiero una Coca-Cola, por favor. Dos cafés, dos cafés y una Coca-Cola, por favor.